Here's a story posted in the Inquisitor, July 12, 2014. Benjamin Netanyahu calls out Barack Obama and says Israel will never give up the West Bank. That's a bold statement. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been doing a fine job he keeping the Israeli people safe. With the Iron Dome tested for more than a week, more so than at any other time, the only plausible action for defense is a strong offense. Eighty terrorist targets were decimated. Despite the ceasefire wanted by the United Nations, along with what the United States wants Israel to do in regard to this war, which is primarily giving up land, Benjamin Netanyahu made it loud and clear when he said that Israel will never give up the West Bank. <sighs> yeah, well, how could Israel survive if they gave up the West Bank? Of course he's going to say that. In an initial report by Now the End Begins, the Prime Minister of Israel strongly rebuked both John Kerry and Barack Obama, along with anyone else who feels that Israel should relinquish control of the West Bank. Wow. You know what? They're already marching soldiers. They're already shooting rockets. It sounds like war's begun over there. While war has begun over there, it just we just wonder how big it's going to get. How many people are going to be dragged into this war? How many nations? How many countries? This is a dilemma that just won't quit. says here, it makes sense that Israel would not relinquish control. Adjacent, adjacent territory has huge importance. Also giving up the West Bank would let Hamas get in closer to shoot rockets at Israeli, Israeli people. What do you think? Is is this the big war? Is this the start of World War Three? What else could go wrong? 